Arr, the sun's a hot <laughs> isn't it, me hearty? Oi, Captain, it is a blinding wretch of a sun this day. Don't you worry about it, we little tinky tots. Soon the booty will be ours. The ancient gold amulet in the shape of a split <laughs> Captain. Aye, you barnacle brain bastard son of a whore. And once we have the treasure, me old ma back home won't have to live off of oatmeal and the c of old cats. Your mum will be living the dream soon enough. Hey. Oi. What is that? Hey. Who is that? Come. Come closer. I'll come towards you. Come to me. I will come closer. No boy, tis a sea witch come to steal your soul away to the depths. What? Let me see that knob of yours. See, she attempts to bewitch you. Come on, let me just fuck it, suck it. I want to knob it. Mm, I want to juice it. Mm, Try to keep it together, you Mickey Mouse club. Oh, a little, oh, give me that nub. Come on, Captain. Ugh. It's a witch heartbeat's trick, boy. Come on, give me the nub. Come on, give us a suck it. <laughs> oh, no! <sighs> Arr, it's a pirate's life for me. Let's hit the open sea. Oh, my crew is hungry. Yo ho, some lost treasure. The captain is on a vendetta. Mermaids. Ah, oh, my crew is hungry. Ooh, a ghost ship on the horizon. The city of Atlantis. Ah, oh, my crew is hungry. Seriously, guys, f off eating me supplies. Work together or don't on epic adventures that'll be sung of long after your time on this pirate's planet. Either way, your crew will get hungry. Hello, we are a couple of game lords. And today we're drinking two different cocktails. I've got the turncoat. And I've got your mum's old pineapple brew. <laughs> Is it your mum's? <laughs> Dear old mum's pineapple yeah, I like brew. Your mum's better. <laughs> your mum's old pineapple brew. Because you're inferring she's an alky too. That's right. We are fortunate enough that the people at Plaid Hat Games put these cocktails online for you to make as you play the game. It's the perfect pairing. I'm gonna just stab my lemon and, 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 bust, and bust this up. Yeah. And mine's full of jalapenos. You go first. Oh, Christ. Only because I suspect yours is gonna be delicious. Ooh, what's in it? Like, uh, booze-wise. Rum. rum. Just rum. Arr. <laughs> I think that this show is just going to be us saying different drinks are always delicious. Let's see. Well, yours has a lot of Curacao in it. You know how I feel about that. No, they did a great job. Oh, it's delicious. I hate that. This really... It's really good, you know... I did have some initial <sighs> problems with the game. The one thing you should note about this is... <laughs> what are we you want to do a switcheroo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. this is goes down real smooth. Mm, it smells like curacao. Oh, the salt <sighs> smells. I'm glad I got this one. Well, mine's almost empty. We haven't even started yet. Oh, it's right getting stronger near the bottom, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Woo! Forgotten Waters is a cooperative adventure game for three to seven players. It takes anywhere from one to two hours to complete a full campaign. And it's not complicated, nor is it hard to learn. I really enjoy this game. Fantastic. Maz, would you recommend it and who to? Yes, I absolutely would. It's a wonderful game. Not only is it beautiful, we'll get into that. I would recommend it for anyone who, who's keen on getting into more than just Cluedo and Monopoly. Mm. It's so simple. Everyone has a clear job. You can divvy it all up. So anybody who is like, you know, Cluedo, it's too boring. Monopoly takes too long. And I'm sick of starting fires in my parents' living room. Mm. I think... Anybody could pick this up and give it a go and really enjoy it. Oh, then we cut to my mum trying to play it. <laughs> Just. What do you mean? 
First thing you'll notice with Forgotten Waters is just the quality of the components, really mm. good. They give you a, a, a really good case to hold all the tokens in. It's such a rarity. It's and unheard of yeah. that the, the pieces fit back in the box when you're done. And the quality of component is great. The books are really cool, really well made. The board is nice, the pieces are nice. Fantasy Flight should have a look at this because it's a masterclass <laughs> in how to give people containers to put all the tokens they inevitably are going to have to use in, you know. You know, it's not an issue. It's so easy to start playing as well. Yeah. You know, it's really quick to just get it out, get it out. Here's the book. Here's the pieces. Who do you, you want to be this guy? I want to be the blue guy. Let's do this. And as far as real estate on your table goes, mm. like everything has a lovely little place. You don't feel like you're like, oh God, where are those things? Everything mm -hmm. has this, like the chess piece for the cards and the tokens is so beautifully designed yeah. and straightforward. Like there it is. And you just pick that up and put it back in the box. Yeah. It's a joy. It's nuts that we're talking about this like it's a luxury, but it really is. And you really will notice with this that it's, it's just fantastic. Mm. The game in a nutshell, you and your fellow players have been recruited by a captain in the story to navigate the open seas stumbling across chance encounters which will also prove as opportunities to increase particular stats so we're turning over tiles they're all randomly generated they all correspond to something inside the app which has different story elements ship calls the lookout <sighs> good isn't it <laughs> <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about this one i am I don't think I could play Forgotten Waters with another person because you're so into it. I love it. Right off the bat, everyone gets their roles. It's so simple mm -hmm. that I can invest in the stories and my own character. Great voice acting. Oh, the voice acting the voice is acting's so good. good. Okoro's wife, Sarah, was killed when a giant serpent attacked the ship. It's just good. It's just good. It really is. And it's one of those rare instances where I think the humor actually works. It <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. And I get it. It's a board game. It's it's meant for... It's not going to be Monty Python. No. Not that... I mean, what year is this? But... <laughs> Monty Python. How old are you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like Christmas cracker humor. Like, everyone gets it. Yeah. And whether it's funny or lame enough to be funny, like, yeah. it hits all of those marks. And it's, it's great. I never cringed. No. Nah. And that's kind of a big deal. Because most games, when they try to be funny, you will, you, fin you feel yourself being like, I can't uh, believe I partake yeah. in this pastime. I am a loser. Some of the gags I've enjoyed. A sea sponge, a, a dried up um, starfish and a grumpy squid yeah. were, were characters in one of the subquests. And it's like, well, I know what you're doing there. Yeah. Great. Stuff like that. If someone had described that to me, I'd be like, oh, okay. But it pulls it off. Yeah. It really pulls it off. It pulls off a lot, actually, and it does feel effortless. It has this tiny playboard, which when board games need, you know, Game of Thrones dining table level mm. setup, this is wonderful. It's a tiny little playboard of hexagons. Campaign to campaign, different hexagons create the map for you. And as part of the mechanics, it divides the jobs up between the mm. players. So, oh, you're the scribe, write that down. You're the quartermaster, change this. From a mechanical point of view, we've got, I forget. There's the quartermaster, the boatswain, the first mate, the scribe, the lookout, the cooper, and another job. Yes. But basically they're tracking the crew on the ship, whether they're annoyed with their discontent, yeah. how hungry they are, the guns the and the, the condition of the hull, the threat level. The ship scribe is writing stuff on the ship's log. Nice. I'm no. getting shivers. Do you have the witch's heart written on your ship's log? No. Oh, well, you're not going to get that perk. Yeah. Well, this Sorry is what it. happens to you this time. It's great. And it's a really clever way of masking the mechanics because it's thematic. So. You are the first mate. You are the boatswain. You're not mm -hmm. sitting there being like, we got hit, move it up. That's your job. Mm -hmm. And there are even events that'll be like, this specifically happens to you because you have that job. Yeah. Can we talk about the character sheets? Sure. Because I think this is something you can take or leave. Mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning of the game, you, you select your character out of a bunch of predefined pirate characters. And each of the pirates have different base stats. So... Mm -hmm. When you're playing the game, you're rolling against navigation or your ability to aim. But the fun thing is, 
on the inside of that character sheet, before you start playing, you have to fill in some random words. So you'll be writing big old dick or yep. your mum's big old <laughs> <laughs> And then as you level up, you're unlocking personal story arcs that you read out. And the way I say like you could take or leave it is, it hasn't happened to me yet playing it, but I can imagine it gets tedious having to read everyone's backstories before the game. Probably if you're playing with a max seven players, by the seventh person reading out a wall of text, yeah, you'd be like, okay. You know. I actually really quite enjoy it because yeah. because everything else is taken care of and doesn't feel taxing on my brain. Mm. I can like, oh, I've leveled up. I get to put on a voice and I get to do a little thing. Yeah, like that's great fun. I also like it. At the moment, it's capped at I think six quests. They could just keep updating the website with new campaigns, mm -hmm. and we just play it with the same tiles. Oh my goodness! Which is so good. Fantasy Flight, take notes. Take notes. The only thing I could imagine them having to release as an expansion would be a new book with more pages. <gasps> yes. That I could imagine. You can kind of see them releasing a new book and maybe some new hexagon tiles with different art on it just yeah. to shake it up a little bit. Have we had any problems with it? Like, whoops, I did a mistakeies. Now we have to start again. <laughs> Most of the time we've made a mistake. The app has saved me more times than it's gotten in the way. It'll be like, are you sure you meant to do that? Yep. Are you sure you didn't mean to do this? If you stuff up, you just go, oh, I was supposed to put this one in. Ignore that. Ding dong dong. Yeah, we're back. There's something else that's wonderful about this game. <laughs> if you have had enough and you're like, I've really got to get to a Portos before they shut. Yeah. Not that they do. What a bad example. Um, you can save your game. Mm. And they make that really easy. Yeah, the, the scribe has a really good save game feature. Can I just say, if you ever fight a Kraken in a campaign and then later on re-roll the Kraken page, I think it's okay to just try again. Let's just get another tile out. We did that. I'm not fighting the Kraken twice. Not interested. Not interested. Which takes us to what don't we like? Your enjoyment of this game is really contingent to your investment in it. Yeah. So if people aren't willing to get into the world, if they're not excited about, like you said, putting on voice, not even necessarily putting, you don't have to put on voice. I don't put on voices, okay? You absolutely should though. Yeah. If you're not on board, no pun intended, with the sort of theme, that has the potential to completely suck the fun out of the game. I mean, if you find those people in your life who play board games like they're entering data into Excel, just maybe don't play with them. Yeah, hook them up with a spreadsheet. Yeah. But that's more a criticism of people. Okay. Damien, I'm talking about you. <laughs> you ruined this game for me. <laughs> Get out of our lives. It's Facebook official. You're unfriended. I think the only gripe I have from a what's in the box, what's mm. in the box, what's in the box today point of view is the character card. Mm. There's one card which has your little character on it. On the back of that, it says you can carry four treasure. It says that on the back of every character card. Mm -hmm. So that's redundant. Everyone that, can carry four put treasure. Put that in the rule book, guys. I don't think I need that card. I could throw them all out today. I think you should. I'm going to. You won't regret it. This card. Put it in. <laughs> I, just, I just think about the planet when I think about this card. Yeah. I'm like, the fucking poor planet. Yes. It's just withering away while you print Billions of these character cards nobody needs! And if that's my biggest gripe, what a beautiful game. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty amazing <laughs> that they're destroying the planet is our biggest gripe. Every game is destroying the planet. Uh, cardboard. Given the sort of mechanics, it's pretty rare that you're going to have to choose being selfish over being cooperative. <gasps> this game is about getting to the end of the campaign. Mm. If you play this game selfishly, it only hinders the progress of the full campaign, yeah. which means nobody wins. At the end of the story, you're just happy to have gotten to the end of the story. Mm. You don't really care about your individual ending no. by the end. No. Sure, you know, you sort of get enough points added to your character. You can be like, oh, I get the legendary pirate ending. I'm just going to read out a paragraph of stuff to everyone, which I've been doing all day. It's fun, but it's like bonus fun. It's not imperative to your enjoyment of the game, which mm -mm. is we have to kill the witch. Yes. And Get the heart! Yeah. And if I'm too busy f***ing about stealing treasure from people, we're not gonna get Neptune's f***ing trident! This is just facts. This is just, this is what's going on. Get your s*** together. <laughs> the treasure's pretty, um, unbalanced. 
Some tra- and I don't. I mean, I guess it's not necessarily a gripe because you could be like, look, it's just a luck of the draw thing. Yeah. See, this is where I disagree with you. Like, mm. um, explain. I think you can get the right treasure at the beginning. And your character is just leveling up constantly. Yeah. And another person is like, I'm not even keeping up with mm-hmm. everyone else. Maybe a way to mitigate that is to have legendary treasure and regular treasure so that you're not starting the game with something so OP. That's pretty like, cool. In summary, mm-hmm. summer random. Summerexium. What, what is the pirate word of saying? In summary. There you go, summary. <laughs> <I did it. laughs> summary. You just do it in a voice. <laughs> That's how the pirate... The summative part. nature of this review is... We very much like it a it, lot. It's very good. <laughs> There's it's barely good. anything wrong with it, if at all. Yeah. Look, I've played it with one person who said they don't like it, but it's my sister, and she sucks. So... <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm indifferent to pirates. Mm. I don't care. And I still had a great time. I guess she hates them. It's basically an ultimate choose your own adventure novel mm. from the old days like do you choose this or that yeah well turn to page 410 it really is you died oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it it's really great. is it's so good it's so good it's so good so do we give this do we stamp this are we <gasps> giving this the glord stamp of approval is this game lord approved i mean it's pretty obvious at this point do we, need, do we need to do a thing? Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know what uh, we. Yeah, I don't we'll know give what it a motion. It's stamp. Well, boys, we've done it. The amulet is ours, and I can finally retire to my orchard and die, die of AIDS. What? <laughs>